Creating motion using keyframes and adjusting the motion path is the most important aspect within After Effects. If you conquer these two concepts, you will be halfway in using After Effects. The rest actually is very easy. Here we are going to create a simple and fun animation just to learn about keyframes and motion. Serious things will come later. Please have fun, play and experiment. You will acquire the skills faster than you could imagine. So let's start. Now, the first thing we want to do is to import some graphics within After Effects so we can start creating some amazing motion, if you like, or amazing animations. To import any file in After Effects, you just come to the project panel over here. And the easiest way is to right click, go to import and import, you can choose file and go to wherever you downloaded the resources from the previous lectures, please choose sky one. This is an illustrator file and in import as please change to composition, retain layer sizes and keep the two boxes here unchecked and you click on import. Now, After Effects imported the Illustrator file and in this folder here, you can see the layers. We have an airplane and we have a background and also we have a composition that has been created. This is a composition that has the exercise as in Illustrator, the way I created it. Now, a composition is just a big container where you put all your graphics and the motion and so on. This is what will become your video later on. To open this composition, just double click on it. Now you can see in the timeline over here, you have two layers, the airplane, this is the red airplane, and you have a background. And over on the right here, you have the timeline itself. This is the timeline indicator. You click and move it in time. Now for the background, we don't want to click and move it around. So we are going to lock it. So come to the lock here, this second box, click on it, you have locked it. Let's come to the airplane and this is what we want to animate now, make it, uh, you know, do a couple of loops and exit. If you twirl down on this arrow here, you will notice that you have transform. I twirl down again. These are the transform properties that you can use to create animation. So you notice you can move the anchor point. This is the dot in the middle here. You can move it up and down if you like to. I will undo control Z. You have the position. You can take it up and down and left and right. You know that already. I'm sure you have the scale. You can make it bigger or smaller and you have the rotation pretty easy and you have the opacity, make it transparent or totally non-transparent. We want to focus on animating the position here, but I don't want to see all these properties. I want to see only position to do that. I will press P, that's the shortcut for the position property to appear. Now we are all set to start animating the position and we'll do that in the next video.